All right, so in this lesson, we're going to talk to you about the virtual cam setup that is inside Ecamm Live. All right, so a pretty neat feature. Um, so say, for example, you want to have your Skype guest or maybe you want to have your, your Zoom guest or you know, you're doing a Zoom meeting. Uh, you, you want to broadcast what Ecamm is showing uh, to everybody in that, right? So you, you don't have to go live on Facebook. You don't have to go live on YouTube. You can use these simple tools like uh, Skype or even uh, Zoom, and you can just use Ecamm as your camera. So pretty neat, pretty neat. Um, so let me go ahead and show you how that setup works. So inside of uh, Ecamm Live, uh, you can go up here to the output. Down in the output, you'll see virtual camera. And then you're going to go ahead and click on this one right here for install camera because you have to install the virtual camera. Because if we go into Skype right now um, and I go under the uh, preferences, so let me go ahead and go to Skype preferences, bring this up. You can sort of see that uh, if we go under audio video, you're not seeing uh, anything else besides my natural camera. So uh, how do we fix this? Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So we do that by installing uh, the virtual camera driver. So go right here, virtual camera, install virtual camera. It's going to ask you for your password and just type it in, install, boom right now yeah you, you see this little camera right here that means that you are you have that on switch turned on so it is broadcasting a virtual camera now here's one of the the next things that you're going to need to do because like in skype for example uh we can still go to the settings and we don't see anything we still see the logitech brio um you know in zoom we'll go to preferences here and uh, we will see that hey we don't have it and that's because we need to actually close out of the programs completely and reopen it so essentially I'm going to go ahead and exit this and I'm going to go ahead and quit Skype as well all right so let's go ahead and reopen these things so we got zoom.us and let's go under preferences and now we go to video and we will see Ecamm live video down here okay so let me go ahead and rearrange these here. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and bring Skype in as well. So we got uh, SKYPE, bringing that in. And let's take a look at its preferences. All right, so we'll go here, Skype, preferences, and let's go up to audio video. And lo and behold, we have the camera. Now, something you will notice in Skype is it is reversed, <laughs> right? Um, you can see I got the Christmas tree over here, over here, over here. Right. So anyways, uh, yeah, on Skype, you will see a reversed image, but everywhere else, it's just going to show natural. All right. So uh, keep that in mind because I was thrown off a little. It's like, hey, is this going to work? It is going to work. OK, your guests will be able to read text perfectly if you're to share screens and stuff like that. But anyways, check this out, guys. So we have uh, the, these two cameras there. Let me go ahead and close some of these things here. But Every single thing that is on your Ecamm live screen, they will see. Uh, that is typically being broadcasted to your YouTube and Facebook kind of stuff, right? So, uh, for example, if I wanted to share a desktop, boom, I can share it. And you can see in all of the things it is present, right? Uh, turn picture and picture on and off. You can have... Uh, overlays and everything and they will all be present there all right so again super duper neat as far as uh, that goes and let me go ahead and take a look here at my uh, my overlays window because uh, again you know if I put that on there boom you can see that it is on my zoom it's also on uh, this right here and again I know it looks funny but uh, your Skype guest will not notice a difference, okay? So anyways, super duper neat. Again, that's called the virtual camera, and you can, uh, again, toggle it on and off uh, based on this right here. So turn it on, turn it off, and it does have the keyboard shortcuts, and you can always uninstall this, but um, pretty neat feature that Ecamm Live has uh, that could benefit your broadcast, all right, to you don't have to go live, right? You can see my record button's not on there. So anyways, uh, pretty neat. I continue on with uh, some of the other videos that we have, and hopefully they helped you out. All right, so take care.